Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Mm -hmm. um, welcome back. Yes. Um, been a couple days. It has. Oh, can you pick up the Yeah, top? we have, we have we Atari have here. here. Just Hi. happily purring off screen. Yeah. There he is. Yeah, he was sitting hey. on a pillow. Yes. There hi, you go. Hi, hi, hi. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so tonight we have four games. Yes. For the Atari 2600. Uh, Tomahawk 777. It's mm -hmm. an exclusive world premiere. It's an arcade port. Ooh, okay. Um, by Raymond C. Uh, we're also going to do a video trailer reveal uh, for Zark Stars, cool. which is a new game. Cool, cool. We're also going to be checking out um, two other games for the 2600 Alien Exterminator and Discarded Hero. <laughs> um, and I want to thank all the people that have showed up yes, hello. Um, today. Thank <clears> you for <throat> uh, coming to the show. Uh, Nostalgic 26, RC70, Dan, ABC, Captain Classic. Uh, Arena Foot, welcome. Oh, oh, there's Raymond C. Yay. He's here for any questions you have about his game. Wonderful. Um, Rendered Ghost, Steps, um, um, Vitoko, Broadcaster, yeah, Pack Rat VG, Danny VC, Miss Command, Ground Trooper, Ooh. Carl G, uh, RC70, oh, Drexel. Metal Trooper. Seven. What hype trains? Did I miss all the hype trains? Yeah, a whole bunch of people um, resubscribing. Oh, nice. Okay. Ricardo Pym. Excellent. Rod Castler, Arms Car Coder, and everybody else. Yes, Mike I'm Soul. Sure. Mike Soul, there we go. Um, and anybody else that I missed. And I want to thank the Twitch subscribers yes. as well. Anybody who subscribed before the show will be on this list, but you'll be on next week. Yes. Alan for Armscar Coder, Atari Age, Buck Owens, Cafe Man, Tootie, Charles, Whelan, Chive, Five, Dan, if you see Dr. Moo, Cows, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Mark Spacing, Mike Muse, Mike Saul, Mike Littell, Mick, MK Smith, Mr. Zarnaru, Mr. Fix, Pack Rat, VG Cog, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Smith, B, Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, the D Train, the Welshman, 89, Thrust, 2610, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, X, Ken X. Thank you so much for supporting Ooh. the show. What um, are we up to now in subscribers? Oh, it it's dropped a bit because we've been off and on. It for goes on a, a little up bit. and down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because people uh, forget <laughs> because it doesn't. I don't think it reminds them when it runs out for yeah. some people. It doesn't for me. I just yeah. find out my name. I don't think it uh, reminds you if you are. Yeah, my name's not on the list. Using I need to, Amazon I need to Prime, but if you're like a yes. subscriber, then it does or something. Yeah, yeah, Amazon Prime. Not good at that. No. Um, might as well start with it. Um. Uh, unfortunately, uh, our uh, wonderful cat uh, Pixel passed away mm -hmm. um, on uh, on Saturday. Yeah. Um, yeah. He he got really sick, yep. and we took him into the hospital, and um, unfortunately had a lot of complications and uh, wasn't able to make it make it through um, the issues that he was going through. Might yeah. talk about more about it later, but I don't know. Yeah. Um, so um it might be hard today but uh we'll make it through yeah yeah and we've got atari here yes who we call our emotional support cat because yeah. he through it all is also missing his brother but is a very very happy in very general. supportive yeah. animal to have around so yeah so he's been a good good companion yeah he's been purring days. and keeping us yeah. company yeah and um yeah you might have seen me post mm -hmm. in on facebook or uh in the atari age forums about uh pixel it sh mm -hmm. i shared a bunch of really nice photos of him mm -hmm. and uh thank you so much for all your support um all your messages have been really really nice yeah a lot of nice things people have said and, yeah and you know he's he's family and uh i yeah. i get the sense that you guys uh um, you know, enjoy having uh, him and Atari in your life as well. So it's yeah. it's a hard thing, and we're going through a lot. But and Pixel uh, was a very big part of the show. He was. Oh, both of these kitties. Yeah. Were, are are they part were. of the show. So. Yeah. 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 Atari is taking care of us. He's not good <laughs> that way. <laughs> and we're taking care of him. He's yeah. he's been uh, upset as well. He has, he's yeah. Been it's been hard. It's been hard on him to lose his brother. So yeah, um, he's uh, been crying a lot and looking for him. And yeah, missing him. Yeah, uh, at night and and when they get fed, looking yeah. around for him. So yeah. very very difficult. Yeah. Um, yeah, Tari is taking care of us. Yes. 
Um, so we might talk more about that later, but um, let's open some mail. Yes. Look what's inside of these mystery boxes, mm -hmm. taking off the labels. Uh, might be interesting, might be not, might have nothing to do with the show. <laughs> if it's my, if it's the uh, the gifts I bought for my niece and nephew, that would be great <laughs> because I still haven't received them yet, and Ooh. we've been having supply issues up here because of all the flooding Everyone. and rain. Oh, that, yeah, and, even uh, more so. So I'm still waiting on a bunch of Christmas gifts. <laughs> So I'm excited to see what's in these boxes too. So if everyone could hold off on doing treat time till about an hour in, that would be really nice. Yes. So don't do that. Oh, it's games. Yay, okay. games. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's a lot of games. Let me just get all these out first. Oh, thank you everybody for mm -hmm. your messages in the chat. <laughs> don't watch the show. Your, your niece and nephew don't watch? I don't no, think so. No. <laughs> they're I, teenagers. Yeah. The, this is the last the last uh, genre of even, gaming they're interested in, unfortunately. Yeah. Even though, you know, Twitch is popular uh, with oh, a lot of ages. For sure. Uh, for I don't sure. think they're interested in this particular uh, set of subjects. Yeah, subjects, sadly. console. <laughs> uh, more limited this run. Goes, yeah, lots yeah. of limited run. Let's take That's a awesome. And a loose elastic band. <laughs> Not for cats. Cats like those. They're lurking. You just don't know it. Well, you never know. <laughs> yeah, they may not admit that yep. they watch it. Oh, this is just a newsletter. But, uh, yep, just a newsletter. Excellent. And they give cards with it. But the games <laughs> are uh, Blaster Master Zero Three. Okay. Which uh, is like uh, uh, Castlevania Metroid style game, I think, from what it looks like. Looks like a lot of fun. Um, and Castlevania itself. Castlevania Anniversary Collection for the PS4, which includes Castlevania, Castlevania 2, Castlevania 3, Castlevania 4, mm -hmm. Castlevania Bloodlines, Kid Dracula, which um, I actually have for the Game Boy. It was only... Available mm. in Japan, oh, really? I believe. Cool. Um, Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge, and Castlevania Adventure. Mm -hmm. So that's very cool. And mm. then another Castlevania-type game. Yeah. Uh, definitely kind of working off of, of the, the Castlevania of the Castlevania title, <laughs> Cursed yeah. Castilia. For sure. Uh, EX. Yeah, see, see. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Put them side by side. Yeah. There you go. You know. Very similar fonts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which also looks good. It looks actually more like a Ghosts and Goblins. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, this is for Switch, this one. Uh, yes. Yes. Modern yeah. consoles. Yeah. And then mm. a cool. case for Blaster Master Collection, uh, obviously for the Switch. I can put them in like that then. <laughs> what is that? It's a case. For? For, uh, I don't think they gave me an option to pick Switch or PS4 what? covers, so so they'll have to go in like this. What? I don't care. It's That's it's a, weird. I think it's a free thing, so if you ordered all of them. I'm like I'm like that is a weird size. I'm like, are they now sending out VHSs of games <laughs> off limited run? Yeah. It's not even quite the size for that, no. but uh, oh, that's funny. Yeah. I don't care too much about boxes. That's really funny though. Yeah. Because I, if it's available for PS4, usually I buy it for PS4 just because it's a more powerful machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Next. Let's see what's in the next box. Probably more video games. <laughs> hey, Atari 2600, dude. Hey, Atari. It is. Uh, Ooh. So this. No, I'm excited. More limited run. Is it? Is it? What? No, it's. I don't think. Oh, it is limited run. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Weird. They've got the same. Uh, <laughs> So okay. it's uh, Super Meat Boy and Super Meat Boy Forever. Ooh. Uh, an extremely hard platformer game. But fun. That is pretty much you just die over and over and over and over again trying to get through a level because it's like really hard to make your way through like mm. little buzz saws and spikes and stuff. Um, yeah. So I've been looking forward to getting this on physical copy. Mm. Hey, big doggy dog 97. Mm -hmm. These are Xmas presents for me from me. <laughs> or you can wrap them up, I guess, if you want. <laughs> this is how Christmas works in our house. He buys stuff and I go, you're not supposed to buy stuff. I'm supposed to buy you stuff. Course, and then I end up wrapping it up for him. These are like ordered months I ago. Know. I know. So. 
and and to buy those types of games you have to be like order them within oh, I know. five minutes of, so of like, it going on the website so be like oh yeah. at 9 a.m yeah. at work you'll have to order these games yeah, for me no. through <laughs> my my login yeah Not it doesn't work. work no um so some news mm -hmm. let me get the news up here um there's a concerted effort to try and get CDFJ support mm -hmm. on the Uno cart. Um, and it's uh, uh, plus cart slash Uno cart. And it's being headed up by Andrew Davey, Thomas Yanch, Al Nefer. Um, so that um, when you make a game with CDFJ, which is mm -hmm. using the ARM chip, it's the most um, newest version of making games with the ARM chip because there's an ARM chip in the uh, uno cart and plus cart plus it's also in the harmony cart right okay but they interface in different ways so you can't just make a game and it works on both okay so what they're trying to do if i gather it correctly because this is way above my head is they're trying to make it so that when you make a game and compile it mm -hmm. it'll work in both automatically if they get it working right Okay. Because there's different memory addresses and different way of communicating with the ARM chip on different both of the different architectures, um, so that'll be really great for people who have for developing, I guess for developing yeah. and also people who have one or the other, mm. but mostly especially for the Uno Cart and Plus Cart owners, yeah, um, because they most games, well, all games made with CDFJ right now mm. only run on the Harmony Cart. Oh, so I see. I see. Now they'll be able, if if they get it all worked smoothed out, out and worked yeah, out, yeah. be able to run on the Both. Uno cart as well for those people who have the Uno cart. So that's nice. really, really cool. Uh, Limited Run's been good about leaving pre-orders up for several weeks lately. Oh, yes. That's so nice. they're kind of going more pre-orders, I'm finding. There's still limited ones where I they're mean, like, we're not sure about this here. Or, or we're, we're only making We're only making 1,000. or whatever. Well, more like 1,000 to 4,000. Yeah. Usually they're run. Yeah. But I mean, I, that's better. They then they have an idea of how many people are interested. Uh, but then yeah. you're more likely to get it if you really want it too. If you pre-order, if you can pre-order. Oh, you'll definitely get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's nice. So yeah. I, I don't mind the pre-orders. It it'll take longer. Yeah. Because that you have to they, go through the process. It's a longer process. Yeah. Um. So either way, I'm fine. Mm. And it hasn't really been hard to get the ones with limited amounts anyway more and more because they're better at estimating and kind of overestimating a bit um speaking of buying things that i'm not supposed to <laughs> near christmas <laughs> i knew this was gonna come up <laughs> we've been watching videos about this for uh yeah well all the all the <laughs> videos got released um yesterday okay <laughs> or the day before mm -hmm. i don't know someday mm -hmm. um about the analog pocket and i've known about this for a very long time mm -hmm. i've been mm -hmm. drooling over it and it had a very limited order window way 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 back okay and a bunch of people did videos all the all the big people on youtube did videos mm -hmm. about this because they got theirs mm -hmm. um what it is if you don't know it is an fpga handheld device um so it's hardware emulating uh, handheld devices like the Game Boy and okay. Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, um, and other ones. Okay. Not just uh, Game Boy. Not, not just, just Game Boy. Yeah. Because yeah. it can be anything. Okay. Uh, because you're programming the chip to emulate the hardware inside of those. Mm -hmm. And uh, not only those. So actually, let's, let's take a look at it. It's very, very nice. Very stylish. These people have made a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Analog Duo, Mega SG, Super NT, DAC, NT Mini, fa all very expensive. Yeah. Um, uh, let's go back to the pocket. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess it changed pictures. Okay. Um, cycle three. Oh, am I on the pocket? Oh, no. Okay. I think I can just go back. There we go. <laughs> Good. Um, now, if only Atari 2600, 7800 handheld were to come out. Uh, yeah. Well, oh. because this is an FPGA, you can load different cores on it. Okay. And so in some of the videos of the people we're talking about, they were talking about actually loading Atari 2600 cores on it. And it does have an SD card port. Okay. So, and it also has a multi-cart support as well. But you could load the games on the SD card and turn it into a 2600 portable. That's pretty cool. And it would... 
and as long as it you would have emulate a really, it very well as long as you have a really good core and i think there are some really good cores out there i know on the uh uh collector vision phoenix there's okay. an atari 2600 core i haven't uh. investigated how good it is but yeah. I, I bet it's pretty good wow um but okay. if you go to the That's pre-order yeah um there it is uh, the it price looks is really nice oh, it's gorgeous there's a black and a white one it like has that kind of Game go. Boy look. That's where they're but going like a for. nice modern sleek style to it. It's yeah. quite nice looking. Um, it, the best part and the reason one of the reasons I actually bought it is that it's got a dock that has HDMI out, so you can hook up your TV, mm. and it's got Bluetooth, so you can use modern controllers. It works with the PS4 controller. You were saying that, so yes. you could just dock Sit on your it, couch, plug it into your TV, and play it on your TV. Mm, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, and it works with actual Game Boy cartridges. Yeah. And it works with all the uh, multi-cartridges, too. Um, can't remember that. What are the names of them? I always forget. Yeah. I do. Kev Kelly, you need to make that suggestion for a wood grain version. Yes. Um, I actually right. think I that should be the next color for the iPhone. They should have a wood grain iPhone. They should have a wood yes. grain. They've, we've had silver. We've <laughs> had white. We've had black. We've had like mercury. I think wood grain needs to make a comeback on yes. modern electronics. That's right. Even if it's yes. like a little thing you put on top of it, like on the around the bottom yeah <laughs> nice wood grain overlay a nice wood grain I, overlay there's no reason people can't make one and just cut out the holes there and, you go yep wood grain uh, anyway as a dock <laughs> you can get a case for it and a little screen for it but here's the great part about it okay. uh it, it, and and there's more yes there are, there are <laughs> adapters you can play all the handheld systems on it you're not limited to just nintendo game boy there's one for the Game Gear. Okay. Which is Sega Game Gear. Is this to use the actual cartridges? Actual cartridges. Wow. Yeah. That's okay. what's That's so cool impressive. about it. That's impressive. That's impressive. EverDrive. Thank you. Um, and coming up, but not yet, uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color, Atari Lynx mm. adapter, so you can play all the Atari Lynx. Um, Turbo Graphics 16 adapter. Wow. Which is amazing because they the same cards that you use... On the portable portable uh, Turbo Graphics yeah. are the ones that you use in the console. So, it's, it's, so they're the same games that are so on the console. So you can basically play the Turbo Graphics games. Yes, on through it. this, wow. you don't have to have a Turbo Graphics, and it outputs that's HDMI. Neat. That's very neat. Nice two links adapter. Yes. yes. Um, and it has some uh, link cables, so you can actually hook it up to the old school Game Boys, and play head to head. Oh really? Yes, you can use this modern device. Wow. And and play it with old school devices and play multiplayer so you know you hear of a lot of systems being built consoles and systems to play yeah. retro games this seems like it was really thoughtfully designed uh yeah you watch some of the videos <clears throat> yeah you should watch the videos on this the most mind-blowing part and i talked told you yeah. about it and pointed you out yeah but this screen on it is so high resolution it's beautiful that it doesn't just emulate pixel for pixel uh graphics what it does, it emulates sub-pixel graphics, the red, green, blue, and the different intensities of the red, green, blue to mix, to make that brown color or green color or off green. So it's, like it mixes it's trying to be as green. truly accurate to what it visually would have looked yes, like. 100% accurate. Wow. Like it's mind blowing. Definitely watch videos that other people have made. Wow. It's unbelievable. Yes, I'll be able to stream Lynx games. Yes. That's the thing. Yeah. That's why this is super cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, there are already Lynx mods that you can do yeah. to stream it, but this is going to be a really good way to stream it. Yeah. It's going to be a very, very high quality. Well, as and you say, you can HDMI it out, right? Yep. And it's got um, built-in settings to actually make it look worse, like blur it. Really? To emulate the old look of the, the handhelds. So to really make it look accurate. Authentic. To authentic. <laughs> yes. Wow. Ten times the res resolution of Game Boy Color, but I hear MVG, uh, that GBA needs some work. It's very early release for the the uh, the drivers for it. The but drivers the, but are still being worked. Yeah. So it's, the software is still being worked on. Is that the Oh, idea? yeah, yeah. But it's it's yeah. decent right now. Good. Um, no emulation. Yeah, it's not emulation. It's mm. hardware emulation, which is not really emulation. Mm. It's... It's literally... It's, it's, it's running the software 
and yeah. pretending to be the hardware. If that pretending makes sense. to be the hardware. Yeah. I mean, it's only as for good the as... dumb people like me who yeah. need who need it spelled out. Yes. I never thought yeah. about that RGB thing to upscale. Yeah, and they these guys are brilliant and they've yeah. been around doing amazing amazing stuff for a yeah. long time yeah. all their other things are way out of my price range oh yeah <laughs> like but this seems consoles this is i assume american on this site yeah yeah, yeah. so I, but that's not i ordered everything <laughs> well i couldn't order everything <laughs> i just I, I ordered like the black one and the dock okay so now it's all and the case now. yeah and an extra screen protector <laughs> I didn't, I didn't order the fast charging USB-C okay. because we have one. Yeah. I ordered the Game Gear adapter, mm -hmm. but none of these are available. Like the Lynx isn't available. The TurboGrafx-16 gotcha, isn't okay. available. But I'll, I'll buy them when they come out. So. <laughs> All right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be an exciting, that'll be an exciting, um, you'll have to do a whole show just on um, unboxing that thing. <laughs> Well, yeah. Like, I plug mean, it in, I mean, show how it works, yeah. see if a Lynx... Well, you, you can't do the Lynx yet. Yeah. No, you you need to do an unboxing oh, for it, I Oh, think. yeah. It's and a I'll pretty plug cool, it in because it's just cool HDMI. I can just plug it in. And show yeah, it. And yeah. show it, yeah. Just to show and just to show how it might work. I think that would be pretty amazing. Yeah. And actually, I yeah. ordered just a little while ago, actually, on Boxing Day, because they always have sales on Boxing Day, the EverDrive for the Game Boy. Oh, okay. So it's perfect. I, I didn't even know that. they were going to put this out. Yeah. But yeah, and so I can put, I could load a, a, a homebrew game. So it'll work with the theme of the show. Yeah, for <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, there you go. Sure. Nostalgic yeah. just said it too. Yeah. Uh, and there are Game Boy homebrews out yes, there. Yes, there are. So I'll do that. Yeah. It's not Atari, but it we doesn't can, play Atari We can yet. show it off with a couple of games. And once the Lynx adapter's out, yeah. then we can jump into that. So that's yeah. cool. It's beautiful though. I, it I... looks really nice. So you got the black one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I figured. Um, he's not a white. He's a. He, uh, I go get everything black. Yeah, yeah, everything has to be black on. Um, the one of the side. streams were complaining. Oh, it shows fingerprints, but they also said this one shows, like dirt on it. I, mean, I that's why I've never liked white. Yeah. I feel like you can you clean can, up black better than you can clean up white yeah. sometimes. You can clean up the fingerprints off black, but yeah. not the white yeah. so much. It it's, does look matte, doesn't it? Like a matte. Yeah. Which is does. nice to hold, but I agree that can show oils from the fingers and that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that is the news uh, today. And we're gonna get into Yeah, the black doesn't look dirty over time either. Yeah. Mm. That's true. Um so this first game. Uh, that we're going to play is uh, Tomahawk 777. It is an exclusive world premiere. Uh, we've got it first. Uh, it's for the Atari 2600. It's by Carlos Centeno. Centeno? Mm -hmm. uh, Raymond C., <laughs> who's in the chat with us. So if you have any questions about his game, mm -hmm. um, you can ask him in the chat. Mm -hmm. um, this builds from November 25th. It's a 32K game. Other games you may remember from him. He's He does really obscure arcade port conversions obscure arcade more obscure like he did the end and he oh. did stratavox as okay. well so continuing with that theme of games almost nobody's ever heard of <laughs> it's now tomahawk 777 nice. i've never heard of this nice. um and very little is actually known about this game mm. um there's no wikipedia page for it there are some write-ups and stuff because mm. the rom is out there mm. uh the arcade rom and uh, only four registered cabinets in the Arcade uh, Museum website. Four and that's like, cabinets they found of it? Is, is there may that be what more, but th these but are the registered owners. Oh, I oh, see. Four of them. And it's... Wow. And it's oh, 20 thumbs up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheered times 20. Uh, Tomahawk missiles are carried on naval ships. Yes. Yeah. Um, so let's take a look at the some gameplay from the arcade first. Okay. So you guys can compare uh what it looks like so let me bring that up hmm. there we go. i'm liking the look of it already yep i'll make sure it's not this is before somebody's playing silent uh demo mode okay um it was released in uh april 1980 there we go now it's starting um it was also released by Ooh. a little loud out there in streaming land. Oh, feels now like it's not making any more noise. Uh, feels like a bit of a twist on like space invaders. Oh, there are so many or, space invaders type um, things. Galaga esque with this the time, falling. You're a submarine. Yes. <laughs> Shooting the aliens in the water. I like that. Yep. 
Uh, and the water line goes down. Yeah. And they also drop bombs on you. But watch the bombs when they drop them. They go fast through the air, and then they slow down in the water. That's kind of neat. Really nice. And the water level goes down too, so you have less room to maneuver your submarine. Mm. So you do have two oh, degrees. I swear that went through there. <laughs> you have two degrees of uh, movement. Okay. Two axis of movement. You can go up, down, left, right, as opposed to um, space invaders, which is just left just and right. Just side to side. So you yeah. can dodge a little bit more. A space invaders from, from a, sub. a sub. Pretty, Pretty much. much yeah. Yeah. Aliens under the sea. This is almost as rare as Polybius. Almost. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So nice. Uh, little um graphics for the aliens mm -hmm. very very retro looking like it, early, late 70s early 80s fits right in with the the look of all those types of games i like the tumbling glitter bombs <laughs> like they, they go colorful when they hit the water oh Do you see yeah, that that's true they're I not like that. colorful I like when they're that. above very but they nice. go colorful mm. um below okay okay so there you go mm. so let's take a look at the actual game Oh, she's having, yeah, like the sprinkles as they drop. They, they are, are like sprinkles. Uh, that's a... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, kitty, Watch kitty. Out, kitty. Um, so it looks really, really fun because mm -hmm. Space Invaders is fun. Let's get this up and going. Let's switch over. Okay, if you can go into today's date. I'm like, what is today's date? Is that today's date? There's only one date. <laughs> go into Tomahawk. It is the 14th. Is it I really? Know. I know. Oh my god, it is. It is. So, yep, go for it. Thinking. Thinking. Here we go. Aliens are coming <gasps> over. Now shoot. <laughs> Tomahawk 777. Alien S formation S attack. So there's yeah. the different uh, aliens. Oh. Uh, C Centeno 2021. Nice. nice. He said, hello, James. Here's my third homebrew for the Atari 2600. Well, it's got a demo mode. Nice. We'll watch uh, that for a 32K game. Um, so Tomahawk 777, while visiting the lunar sea of Zion on one of the seven moons of Zolaren, your submarine Marauder has yeah. come under attack by nuclear weapons wielding nuclear weapon wielding Zionites. In addition to bombing you, they're also using their powers to evaporate the waters of the sea. Ah, oh. makes sense. But you can fight back by launching your death dealing Tomahawk missiles. Tomahawk 777 is yet another Galaxian style shoot 'em up, mm -hmm. but with a nautical theme. You control a slow moving submarine, which may move horizontally and also vertically up to the top of the ocean. The aliens are gathered in a regular formation above the water line from which they drop bombs or swoop at you mm -hmm. kamikaze like. So I think I think you get the gist of the mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. Avoid the bombs, shoot the guys. Oh, you're going to be very loud. Turn that down. There we go. Here a bit. Uh, invaders are now Darth Vader TIE Fighters. They, they are. are. Yep. I like that. I like that. Those are the ones that matter. Ah! Oh, you don't move very fast. No, slow. Oh, moving. boy. And the water line's going down. Yep, still has the sprinkles, the stumbling sprinkles. I'm watching for when they nice. drop them above the water if oh, they my. are not. Well, you colorful. get water back. That's good. Oh, no, they're colorful above the water, too. But they're so fast to drop into the, bottom, the water. But if he wants to be more accurate, he can change it so they don't uh, um, glow above the water. Yeah, you have to be really careful because you move so slow. <laughs> Wait, you're visiting another world, but the aliens there are willing to evaporate their ocean to get you? <laughs> That's hardcore. That is hardcore. They do not like no, you. No, no. I mean, you're invading their world. Yeah. You know? Ah, ha, ha. They got me. They sunk my battleship. Um. Oh, you just want to get in trouble. Oh, I oh I cry, know. cry. Protests from the cat. <laughs> I'm running out of water. The box. There you go. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, not much room to move. Um, oh. you start the game with three lives, which may be lost by hitting by being hit by incoming aliens or their depth charges. Mm. Points may be scored for each alien killed, but with extra points scored if the aliens are caught mid-swoop. Throughout the attack, the water level is continually dropping. This eventually <gasps> limits the maneuverability of your sub until you're constrained to move only horizontally along the bottom of the screen. This continues until the last alien of the wave is killed. 
after which the water level returns to normal and a new wave of aliens arrive. Oh, game over. Oh. What'd you get? Five, five, four, oh. Yeah. Extra um, life, just in time. Atari is very excited by the box. Yeah. Yeah. We have, uh, everybody has boxes in their house now, but he does like pats the edge of the box <laughs> all the time. Does. He'll do that for like 10 minutes. Yeah. That one's not big enough to bounce, but he, he likes, I think he likes the bounce of yeah. the, the spring of, of the flap. Little drummer, drummer kitty, I know. Do, 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 yeah. Do it. Drum, drum. Come, they told me. Um, the game is a port of the arcade game Tomahawk 777. It was released by Data East in early 1980, but unlike other well-recognized classic arcade games, relatively little is known about the history of the game. I could find almost nothing about mm, this game on, online. Ah! Uh, use the joystick to move your submarine in any direction and press the button to fire your t tomahawk missile. <laughs> having trouble there. Yes, I just have nowhere to put it. Oh. It's sliding around in my lap. Box? That's a problem. No, it's okay. I'll figure it out after. <laughs> Jizodomus says amazing game. It's yeah, kinda, it is high action and a lot cute. of things. Ah! A lot of things going on. Yeah, like. Is. Lots of dive bombers and the bullets, the different speeds of the bullets, the water level is half going down. Those things are dive bombing you. They have pretty regular patterns though. They bounce off the walls. So if you recognize where they're going to end up, you can kind of dive. Oh, you're in trouble. I don't know. It didn't come back. I think you. Yeah, that's. It didn't come back. It's think, like really low. Maybe there's like is different there waves. levels. Did I. Y Weird. Yeah, I think I'd, I'll get to that. The, the higher level you go up, the more you have to clear. Yeah, but I didn't. And get there's that only far. so there's so many they can put on the screen at a time, right? Mm. What is this game released? Well, this is the premiere of it. So, <laughs> but you will have to um, ask uh, Raymond C, who's yeah. in the chat still, yep. maybe hopefully. Mm. Um, usually, people put out um, the game after the show, so usually shortly after the show or the next day. If they're if they're if they're confident in their in in the game that they want to show it off yet and have people play it, but I think this game is like ready, like really really uh, well I put together. I feel like there are more so. coming down. Did I switch levels or something <laughs> at some point? Because this is my first wave and is it? did I switch levels? Or um, maybe it's just in my head. You have to destroy thirteen aliens oh, on the no, first level, and then twenty six. And then 39, 52. So the ex every level, there's a whole new screen. So there's one screen for the first level, two screens for the second, three screens for the third, etc. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, went the wrong way. Uh, yellow aliens score 50 points in formation or 100 in attack mode. So like Galaga, you get more points when they're moving. When they're, when they're tumbling down. Yeah, yeah, when they're tumbling down. Um... Uh, red aliens 70 and 150, green aliens 80 and 200. When you score 5,000 points, you will receive uh, an extra submarine. Uh, Raymond says he'll release it in a few days, so you don't have to wait too long. I like the chunky D there on ready. Oh, in the ready? It's like so chunky. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, it's actually great. The 2600 has no built in fonts, right? So every person who makes a game has to make their own graphics i love that for letters and so you, they can make it however they want really he nice. is he's 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 being trouble today out here? Oh, thank goodness extra okay. life there like that out there um you have to destroy 13 aliens on the first level on the second level you have to destroy 26 <gasps> then 39 52 65 and so on there are 15 levels in this game Levels one to three are the easiest. The real action starts on level four. It's just there's so many to kill, and I've, I'm like, <laughs> You're I'm limited. like in a waiting pool right now. <laughs> it's down to. Uh, yeah, is that the end? Space invaders type. Yeah. But a slow Oof. moving space invaders. <laughs> yes. Um. There you go. So. What are you doing, you little guy? What are you doing? Okay. My turn. 
Oh, oh he's complaining. I'm just picking you up. It's all good. Rom only first. Yeah, I mean, it takes a while to get cartridges made. Yeah. RC70 says, wait, this analog thing is geared towards chiptunes, too. I'm uh, sold. Yes, it has a built-in um, sequencer in it. Really? And it has MIDI cables wow. that they're selling alongside it. So it is quite geared towards uh, musicians. Music? Ah. Because there's a lot of musicians that um, use the old portable um, gaming devices to use the chipsets in them. For sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're small, they can bring them on stage and hook them up, right? That's cool. That's and very we've, cool. And we've gone to uh, chiptune concerts oh, before. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, s and have seen uh, these these guys uh, make music with their stuff, and it's really, really cool. Nice. Hey, MK Smith. Oh, Hey, MK Smith. Welcome. I don't know what wave I'm on. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if it says anywhere. Well, you have to if, keep track of if it. You or does if, it... If, if you kill the last guy and the water level doesn't go back up, then you you still have another wave to kill. Yeah, but I'm See? trying to figure out, like... Oh, oh extra life. Extra life. I think you're on two. Two? Oh, no, no, no. no. Are you on three? three? Oh, I'm going to Oh, I'm going to yeah. It gets harder when your water level goes down. Yeah. You can only go side ah, to side. Oh, my God. It placed me in a very precarious position. Oh, my God. I think I'm going to have to... Oh. It's, it's tough. It's tough. You really have to watch their bouncing. I really like this, this like, uh, oh submarine concept. Look it's at them. Great. Like, this must be the third. back and forth. Yeah. Shake, shaky. Actually, it's good not to get the edge, guys. <gasps> Damn it. Oh, it actually doesn't matter. They just stay in... Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> they go oh, away. Oh, those things in the bottom left is what level you're on. I thought those were lives. I think you're right. Six, I think six, that's six, levels. zero. Nice, 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 nice. Is there a way to convert this to a bin file? If I have an Atari Portable, that's the easiest way for me to play digital files mm. right now. Not all ROMs work on the Portable because there's... there's really weirdness there's weirdness with portables but some mm. people have been able to convert it to the atari portable mm. um arena foots knows a lot about it so you should ask him yeah <laughs> um because he i believe he maintains a list and a rom pack for the atari portable mm. atari flashback portable which is a very nice system i do have it over there mm -hmm. don't have time to play it but no. it's very cool because you can it. <laughs> use it on the run um but it doesn't play CDFJ games. I don't know if it does DCP, DPC plus support or not. Mm -hmm. Three color blocks represent the waves. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so wave one. And the lives are on the right hand side. Okay. See, that's a. Oh, you know what he's done? He's using play field for the level. So that can go right across the screen. That's awesome. Is there enough room for 15? Yes, there would be because Goodness. if you have, tw even if you go up to 20 levels, I think he says he's, there's 19 levels, you still have it because there's 40 playfield pixels across the screen. Let me see. Let 15 levels. And you space it out each individually. You could get up to 20 across with a space in between. So he's got a space level, space level. So we'll go right across the screen. You have to kill 14 aliens on the first wave, 28 aliens on the second. So on the last wave, it would be 15 times 14 aliens. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, don't complain about being picked up. You just want to cause trouble down there. He does. <laughs> Oh, dude, Abides 4 has that ROM pack. Well, there you go. There you go. Emulator in the portable is old and feeble. <laughs> no DPC Plus for sure. So it doesn't... Does it play um, Pitfall 2? Or it doesn't even play that? Just just straight up... Ah! Un-enhanced stuff. Terrible. Terrible round. Oh, no. Worse than last time. Very. Yeah. What I do is go to the top. Mm. Because your bullets are faster. Of course, you have to 
You have to watch the bombs falling now. Oh, give it. Yeah, score. you got because you hit it as it was tumbling. I guess. I don't know. That's the first time I've noticed that. What, what? No, I I don't there? know. You got extra points for something. What happened there, Raymond? See? <laughs> that was weird. That was very cool though. Yeah. It was one that had just st started t tumbling or moving? Or you shoot it out of the water? No. No, I don't know. Why did that one give me 800 points? I don't know. I don't know. Did something good there. Yeah. I just have to reproduce it now. I don't even know what I did. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I swear that's the first time I've seen it while we're playing. Nice. Is it a bug? <laughs> Is it not supposed to do that? Huh? Now we're wave three. What I do is I go for the lines first. Yes, it does help. Yeah. Well, extra life. Excellent. It must be at 5,000. Seems when you hit past 5,000, you get an extra life. Yeah. It's either that or it's like a certain number of enemies. Oh, Oh, gosh. four at once. That's a lot. Oh, dead, dead, dead. You can't die from the water level, though, can you? No, 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 no. It just, it's just you're stuck with that die. narrow band of movement. Oh my gosh. And oh. I knew I was dead there. It's just no room. It gets really hard fast. Level three. More. Nice. Level four. You get your water Yay. back. Woo. Did he say why oh, that Oh, you up? can get 800 bonus points for killing an alien close to the sea level. Oh. So if it's if it's right at the sea level, I guess. Oh, hmm. You have to time that one well. Yeah. You must have just hit, hit it perfectly. Because I thought it was something to do with the water, like I was just it in, under like the water. It, but... And it just started tumbling, too. So it was like right after it started moving. Good job. Thank you. It's getting crazy, though. Yeah, they're really agitated. They're <laughs> shaking a lot. <laughs> they're very mad. Yeah. Submarine or alien must be close to the sea level. You were close to the oh. sea level, too. Maybe nice. it's like the distance between you and them? Maybe. Oh, they're agitated. No. Oh, did I get an extra man? I guess I did at 10,000. Or is it only at 5,000? So slow. Twelve nine fifty. I'm happy with that. That was excellent. That was pretty good. Four level four. I don't know how anybody can make it up to level fifteen, but that's a lot of levels. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens should be close to the sea level. Mm. Yeah. Very very nice. Mm -hmm. Do you want one more go? I'll get one more go. Just I don't so think you I'm can redeem 12, yourself. Thirteen thousand. Yeah, that's yeah. you were close, so. Oh, it just says when you score 5,000 points, not every 5,000. No, so you just get one one shot oh. at ah, Whoa. That extra life. That, that was... like went right through your bullet. It certainly did. Goodness. Nice. That was almost death. Woo! Marquis says, awesome. It is. This is a really, really good game. And a great conversion. There you go. Yeah, you got the 800. I, I saw it. I, that was very good. So you were very close to the top, and it was very close to the sea level as well. Ah, oh. Ah, ah. Tried to get out of the way. You don't move too fast, unfortunately. Yes, definitely arcade intense. A lot of things going ah, on. How? 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 How, would, how was I supposed to dodge that? Bullets. Enemies. Ah. <laughs> uh, it looks so close to the arcade. Oh, boy. And you, dead. You need to do one more. <laughs> sure. It is nice though. Yeah. Gets it gets crazy fast. I ordered the analog in white with the Game Gear adapter nice. that'll make a nice coffee table piece. Can't wait to play Columns again. <laughs> columns, you bought it for Columns. Hey, why not? That's like uh, oh nice right off the bat. It's like Sega's version of uh, Tetris. Tetris or not Tetris -like. gems? It's not uh, a gems oh. game. Those, is it that's gems? that's. Uh, I've never played it, but it looked. It's a stacking block falling game. I think it's a match three, maybe. So there are the people who ordered the analog. I think it's an open, open-ended order. So they they don't have a ship date yet, kind of thing. Uh, they have ship dates. <laughs> uh, they're doing it in three, three batches. Yeah. 
And the dates are scary. Oh, yeah? The first batch is first quarter 2022, mm -hmm. which is fine. Um, second batch is late 2022. Mm -hmm. And third batch is sometime in 2023. I got my order in um, with... I, I put everything in the cart and pick, check out within a minute, or maybe just over a minute, as soon as they had, it hit, because I was refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. Um, and then it said, oh, you have to wait in line. It'll be about four minutes before it's your turn to pay. Okay. And, ah, ah, ah. and I paid pretty quick. Yep. But it didn't say, oh, your first quarter. Oh, you just killed that alien to give you another life. That was so close. You weren't paying attention. I was. It was just... Oh! Ah! You're dodging one thing and running into another. Yeah. Oh. Well, you didn't do too bad there. Level three. Getting to level four it's is fun. hard. Very good. Very good job, uh, Raymond C. Yes. Um, excellent. Another excellent, obscure <laughs> arcade <laughs> Arcade conversion. port. Or, yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arcade port. Uh, we've been wishing to play Shining Force 2 sort of Hedja on TV. That might be one of the first we play. Mm. Yep. Yeah, great job. And thank you so much, Raymond, mm -hmm. for letting us debut it on the show. Very fun. Yeah. So keep your eyes open in the Atari Age forums for the post of this game in a couple days, he said. So, um, yeah, great, great, great game. Very, very fun. Tomahawk 777. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, not a game, but we're going to be um, show it, doing a video trailer reveal, which I don't think we've ever done on the show before. A video trailer. A video trailer reveal. For a game. For a game. Excellent. Uh, the game like is it. out, um, but it's only sold on cartridge. Okay. So there's no download. You can't, because we haven't played it on the show. Okay. Because there hasn't been a wrong. We haven't but, had, had a version to play. Yeah. Um, but we have a video now to play. Yeah. <laughs> That's So exciting. this is an exclusive video trailer reveal, which mm. is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. That, you know, you know, mix it up a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is for uh, Zark Stars 1, a space saga. We played um, Zark Stars 3 a long time ago. Mm. And I played it with Darcy. I don't know if I played it with you. And it had a very interesting display and and so that was part three they put up part three first okay uh um this is by leandro camara mm -hmm. uh who also did rally racer oh cool yeah 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 and zph the game oh yes yes well. excellent um and this is the trailer for zark stars one yeah um and there's gonna be a zark stars two as well mm -hmm. so like some movies these is there's prequels and this is kind of a prequel the prequel to it this okay. is number one um, so let's, uh, take a look at, let me switch it over, actually. Take a look at the trailer. We won't, we won't be able to see it on there. You'll have to look over there. Okay. No but we will be able to hear it. So here we go. This is the, uh, exclusive video trailer reveal for Zark Stars 1, a, a space a saga. Yeah, I like Star Wars. It was number four. Exactly. Uh, here we go.
microphone helps. That wow, <laughs> that looks very deadly. <laughs> it looks really but cool. Really impressive use of the screen, and there's yeah. some clever tricks going on there that yeah. I, I I think. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. To maximize what's going on on the screen. That's very cool. Um, so I like the guy with the the, the glass brain. Too. The brain dude. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he's the bad guy. Very cool. Yeah, pretty yeah. pretty cool trailer. It's it, yeah. Somebody said we don't see trailers very often. You see, yeah, I've seen a couple, but I, I can't remember where they're from. But that was that was really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, really really looks really hard. But, you know what? We're actually going to play it. Yeah. He sent over the ROM Yay! for us to play. We're going to die a lot. <laughs> it looks brutal. It does look pretty pretty hard. Brutal. It's a lot Super of dodging. Hard. Yeah. Oh. So, let's give it a go. I also agree. Yes, the soundtrack is cool. Yeah. Relentless. And it does remind me of something, and I'm going to tell you in a bit. In a second? Yeah, yeah. Not, gonna uh, not like. of a game, but actually of... of uh, song hi okay brutal shooter your favorite i actually do like shooters mm -hmm. um this one looks really hard though oh yeah you need to see it too don't you it does help okay load it up sark stars one so oh audio is not in sync after the trailer is there an audio issue? really okay let me fix it Check, check, check. How seems, are we now? Seems good to oh, me. Oh, okay. It might just be you. But you just reset it, so... Yeah, I just yeah. reset it, just in case. Uh, if it's out of sync, uh, restart just your stream. Just let us know, yeah. <laughs> All good here. Okay. okay, we missed that, but look at that title. That's awesome. It's got... Uh, it's flashing. It's so nice. It's got uh, uh, drop shadow. That is so and nice. And flashing. It, love the font. That looks so good. Yeah. It's got some symbols down there. So I've got some instructions, but you pretty much... F5. Yep. F5. <laughs> Come up here. Come up here. Come on. Come on. No, he wants treats. He wants treats. <laughs> we'll do treats after this game. How about that? We can do treats when it's treats. Right <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, he yes. wants treats. He wants some treats. Oh, that's a good <laughs> RC70. Sorry. No, it's all good. It's all good. Is it treat time? It is treat it's time. It's treat time. What's this? Dang. <laughs> Immediate dang. Okay, we're gonna tell you a story. Oh, I don't. It's so stinky. Okay, you want, want you want to play then, and I'll. Uh, oh, they can't the see it. Well, treat time. I'll tell the story, but you. Oh, can feed I them. see. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Um. So, he says, "Hey, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> service. Where, yeah, how do I service, get some please. service around here? There you go. Um, lately." I'd say in the past just two days. Yes. He has started doing something related to treat time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We're sitting on the couch, you know, watching TV or whatever. Yeah. Um, he gets fed um, three times a day. One at first thing in the morning. Eight o'clock, then four p.m. and then eleven p.m. So I guess it's usually around eleven p.m. when you notice this because we're both yeah. home and around then. Yeah. Um. He is using our knees as bells for dinner. <laughs> he's like, dinner? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so he's not even, doesn't care about the bell. He just knows paw on something equals food. Yes. And so. We start, and we realize this. because So he's now like. Yeah. Food? <laughs> and he stares at you. Food? But he'll do it really gently. And really he'll just go. Food? Yeah, it's so And he'll cute. stare you in the face. Food? And, and you just, it just breaks <laughs> your again. heart. Do it again. Breaks your heart and you're like, oh, it's a half an hour early. <laughs> it's too early yes. for your food. Good there kitty. you go. Good, good kitty. kitty. There you go. So, yeah. He's, yeah. He's trained, trained him really good. <laughs> he's trained himself. Yeah. Uh, kneecaps are shaped like the bell. Yeah, yeah that's true. Pretty much. Yeah, he's yeah. so, so cute. He is cute. You yeah. can see it in the cat count. Yeah. So uh, let's play Zark Stars. Uh, I'm going to not do well. <laughs> That's why you're doing it it's first. It's a hard game. Because I'm not going to do much better. Okay, so this part, you have to shoot that little... Uh... Yeah. Are you holding it? Is it yeah. strafing? Oh, it's too late. 
Okay, holding it down strafes. No, not paying attention. That's okay. Talking. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of. It's oh, a lot of bullets. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got. Oh my god. So you've got two. Two oh. things shooting. Oh. oh my god. Wow. Do again, I still have some treats for him, so. Not couch compliant. <laughs> so you have to shoot the little dot there to get it going. Good kitty. Good kitty. So you've got two ships to deal with. And also two b I don't know what they're what you'd call them. Um because I can't read the instructions, so I'm not sure. <laughs> so you have to evade the shots coming from the top and the bottom. And um, there are ways to do that by um, timing. Timing when you go past them. Oh. But, but when they're both shooting at the same time, it's, it's a little bit harder. It's very hard. That's a lot of bullets to dodge. Oh my goodness. They do give you a lot of lives. Though. Oh, you can speed up and slow down? Yeah, you can speed up and slow down, but you do have a time limit. The gotcha. red is the time limit. Mm. So you wait till they shoot and then go past them. Of course, when they're both at the same time, it's brutal. They don't like sitting on couches just... in Brazil. <laughs> on the floor in front of the Atari. Yeah. Nah, restart! Okay. But there is a continue. If you press the, um, oh, don't crash into the sides. Oh, the top and the bottom. I don't know how you deal with that when they're both at the same time. Yeah. Like this, you can do this. You wait, and then you go. But this timing, mm. I don't know, when they're ships and they're both coming at the same time. Ah, oh, crashed right into it. Um, and when <laughs> you're invincible, brutal. you can't shoot, which is which is kind of a good trade-off, actually. Mm. Oh my god, it's so hard. It is rage reset game. Brutal. Oh, you reset from where you started, though. Yep. <gasps> oh, that's good. So the end of each section. Section one. So I just finished section one. I, I didn't even realize that you were still on the same progress. Do you have a limited number of resets, or you can just keep no, resetting forever. your way through? Oh, see, that that nice. helps for a, for a game that's this hard. It does, yes. Because it, it gives you a little bit of an, an advantage, right, to there actually make your way through. There is a caveat to that. Okay. If you're at a boss mm. and you reset, you start at the beginning of that section. Mm. So, which is also fair, because, mm -hmm. you know, like, you should... Be able to make it to the boss. There should be a little bit of punishment for your, yeah, you know, your loss, Incompetent, right? Incompetence. Yeah, punishment <laughs> for your incompetence. Yeah. But actually, level two is easier than level one <laughs> because the top and the bottom don't shoot. Yeah. Okay, this level, the music in this level, I have it turned down quite a bit, mm. but the opening notes to it, yeah, sounds like uh, my favorite song from The Cure. Uh, a forest. Okay. By the Cure. Yeah. It's the bass line that's played all by itself at the beginning of the song, and it's the exact notes from the song. Mm, cool. Did you order the cart for this too? Someone was asking. Uh, no, I did not. I'm not made of money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have all the money in the world. He who just bought the analog. Well, well I'm getting priorities. this. I'm getting this add-on, and I'm getting. There's priorities. Hey, Arena Foot, welcome back. So if you don't actually speed up, you may not make it to the end. Especially if you slow oh, down. Oh, I see, yeah. Oh, I need to shoot that little dot. And now the top oh, and the bottom are goodness. back. Oh, God. But at least I made it, so I can reset from here. Super interesting. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Priorities. <laughs> <laughs> priorities. <laughs> Ah! So I don't know if uh, the song is based off of that song by The Cure, but I 
just happens to work out that way. I'm sure there's a million songs. Oh my god, a million songs with, those with notes. similar, it's similar such notes a and bass lines. Basic yeah. progression of notes. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard. RC70 says, the advertising was enough to get me. Looks like it'll provide hours of frustration. Totally worth it. Yes. Yeah, if it you looks want a challenge. It looks It looks really cool. But I mean, you can kind of get used to where they're shooting from a bit. I think you probably can. And you can, like, there is patterns. Like, it's all a pattern. Um, just like Rally Racer, uh, his other game is patterned mm -hmm. quite a bit. So if you understand the pattern... I'm not understanding. <laughs> terrible. Resetting a lot. Oh, I shouldn't be crashing into the edges. That's for sure. Oh, so you can't hit up and down too. No, oh, which adds goodness. even more craziness to it. It's not bumper walls or anything like that. No, no. <sighs> ah. Like when you're playing. See, I, I can kind of. Like it. kids learning to bowl. <laughs> oh bounce, yes. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, if I could just make it to the end here. <gasps> Is that the end? Oh. And it, I'm just gonna get kicked me back to the beginning of the. Because mm, you're getting. To the oh end. no, it's not. Oh, amazing. I think it did. Oh my god, madness! I think this is just about outlasting, mm. like a certain amount of time. Yeah. No, I didn't make it. Did you die? Yeah. I died. Not that, that graphics amazing. Oh, it's <laughs> it's awesome. With the crazy brain. Yeah. Okay. You sure you didn't, you didn't you died? No. Because it's I'm done. Oh. Yeah, I didn't make it. Because it has that swirly thing around it, and you have to oh, get go in. Through. Yeah. I'm getting my analog pockets sometimes this month. I pre-ordered mine last year. I didn't make it to the pre-order. It was gone because I don't think I'd heard about it by the time it was released, or heard about it too late. Mm. Uh, the Brazilian games cost so much money to get up here yes, in the states. They yeah. do with the conversion of the price plus the shipping. It yeah. does. It it's gets, unfortunate. It does get pricey. Like to Canada, it's about a hundred dollars after everything's said and done. But there's a good excuse to go visit Brazil. <laughs> yeah. Go buy all the games. Buy all the games while you're down there. Bring them back across the border. Yep. Oh yes, that was so sad. Um, in uh, it was on either on Facebook or on the forums, somebody posted just a decimated uh, box from Brazil. <gasps> Oh, it was, Brad's it was just yeah. crushed. Oh, no. Because yeah, I think we saw that. Yeah, yeah. Because it takes so long to get here, Yeah. it stays in the um, the postal system a long time. So yeah. the it longer it's in there... jumps through hoops so many times. Shoot the thing at the top, the little dot, or the bottom. Nope, you're going to die. Up, up, up. What am I shooting? Those little dots that are there and there. The green dots. The dots? Oh, the... The little flashing green dots at the top and the bottom. There you go. Oh. They're bullets, I guess. Good. Things... Ah, ah, ah! Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah. Uh... Oh, my God! <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it! <laughs> oh, my Brad's God! I'm going into... <laughs> crushed cave rescue box. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Cave in. <laughs> Oh, this is not an easy game. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> oh my god, I keep running into the edges. Okay. Okay. Less beer, more more paying attention. Traveling in the darkness of space aboard the Andromeda A N-2 oh, spaceship. God. Can you reset while I reach? <laughs> the reset. Uh, not uh, no no no. Which one? Wrong one? console. <laughs> it's the select. No. Oh well. Let's start from the beginning again. It's actually game select. <laughs> Sorry, there are too many consoles. I'm like, which button? I'll just hit a button. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, now you're getting it. No. Oh, I'm, I'm hitting the edges. I'm like, stop hitting the edges. Uh, the command command panel's radar tracked an alien station heading for Neptune, carrying a powerful arsenal of energy. Controlled by a robot brain, the Cetus station navigates in search of stellar fragments for an as yet unknown objective. No, not that one. You have to start from the beginning each time if you press that That's one. That's fine. It's the uh, game select. <laughs> it hits you right away. Like, <laughs> I don't even know how you dodge. <laughs> oh, I'm 
almost had a pattern going there. Uh, now you must invade the immense fortress, traverse its entire length, and face the sinister force until the structure's ingrained generators collapse, capturing the Zark Star and averting impending disaster. However, by touching the obscure fragment, you're automatically transported to another. That's terrible. Another station. Hidden in the immensity of space, how many bases spread across this cosmic infinity will you need to defeat? What will be the plan of this robot alien mind? Robotic alien mind. There's no time for questions. It's time for a lot of action. Second one in. There you go. Uh, to invade the space station, destroy one of the reactors at the top or bottom of the laser, turning off the external force field. You have six seconds to infiltrate the base. You'll be completely eliminated. The remaining cycle of the countdown will be converted into bonus points in the score. Oh my gosh. Uh, your fleet consists of six ships displayed at the bottom of the screen. When you reset, you only get three. <laughs> um, a radar informs you your location within the enemy base and illustrates the position of the other two existing barriers that divide the station into three compartments. The color of the radar indicates the station you're at. When the crossing the borders, the Adromon is resupplied. This game is almost insane. to the end of the level. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, the Andromeda is resupplied and your fleet receives another support ship. Advance along the space station, avoid the alien attack, avoid crashing into walls of opponents and defense towers. Destroy enemies, scoring points for you. Along the way, you'll find two barriers with 500 and 600 cycles respectively. When approaching the Andromeda... Almost there. The Andromeda automatically slows down, facilitating accurate firing into the force field reactor. Here we go. We're almost there. Not really. There you go. Shoot the things again. There you go. Are you seeing occasional, occasional screen blinks or screen shakes? Uh, once in a while. There, there are a couple. But it's quite, quite minor. I can't remember where they were. I think I saw them on the third section more often than not, because I think there's more things on the screen at that point. A little bit easier, huh? <laughs> like a billion times easier. Oh, Ooh. we crashed into the top, I think. Still a billion times easier. Yeah. Um... Okay, joystick, left, right, accelerate, decelerate, yep. A uh, whole bunch of point values for everything. Um, a point upon reaching the edge of the fortress, it will be necessary to resist the base massive attack for 23 seconds. Oh my god. Before its complete collapse, the station's destruction replenishes Andromeda, adds an extra ship to the fleet it prepares for this capture of Zarkstar. Line up the ship with the star and go through the lethal shield formed by the remains of the reactor. If you... <laughs> so hard. If you reach it... Uh, 3,000 points will be added to the score, and the Dromeda will be transported to the entrance portal of another enemy station. The game will be over if you don't destroy any of the barriers within the allotted time. The six ships of your fleet are downed, or Dromeda's energy is depleted. You can activate Continue as long as the spaceship's power hasn't run out, or you haven't failed to get past... Oh, your energy runs out. You can't continue. No. Oh, so you have to keep going. Interesting. That's a interesting way of doing it. Very, very smart. And you haven't failed to get past one of the bears. Three ships will be added to your fleet. The score is reset, and the Andromeda will not receive a full energy recharge to commit continue on the mission. It's okay. I'm past. That's all You're I passed. wanted to do, because it replenishes your energy. My energy was at, like, zero. Uh, yep. As long so, as you pass it. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes you do just want to go as fast as you can. Players and missiles are nicely distributed in the screen to avoid flickering. Yeah, everything has its own spot on the screen. The top and bottom bases that are shooting are actually, what I'm guessing, I haven't analyzed it, are actually player characters because they are s scrolling smoothly. They're just really, really wide. Um, so everything, I guess you're player zero and everything else is player uh, one, right? And then it is, uh... Like, I'm not even trying to dodge things. It's like, you might as well just keep pushing forward as fast as you can. 
because because there's so much with those towers you can dodge things when the towers aren't shooting yeah but it's just too much on the screen and and it's it's really brutal. hard to dodge everything that's there. Like, you just keep two, dying. Two, two ships and three bullets at a time. Yeah. Or more. Pretty much. Rage reset. It's not even rage reset. It's, <laughs> it's just, just, continuing. just continuous dying. Like, it's crazy. Oh, I keep hitting. Them. So you can do the difficulty switches to start from station two okay. or from station three. I think I'll try from station three. So programming, design, and soundtrack, El Camara. Special thanks. Uh, Hitor Masil for programming, con programming consulting. Uh, Vivian, oh, all these names. Vivian for design and text consulting. Daniel Medina for beta tester. Ken Kenny Schmidt, cover illustration. Leonardo Santiago Hardware. Oh, right at the end. You can't even restart. You kind of want to die just before you get to the end. You do. So. As close to bullet hell as you get on a 2600. Pretty yeah. close. Yeah. I think lead is a pretty good bullet. No. Lead. Oh, oh, purple. Next level. Oh, is. Oh, is this. Oh, station three. Oh, well, this is different. Okay. Let's, let's, let's do level one again. I don't really want to... Yeah. Yay, Daniel Medina, Grand Trooper says. <laughs> <laughs> There's Bishop of Battle. Hmm. Is that a bullet hell type game? Bishop of Battle. What is this? If you get all the way to the end to level three, Robert Smith will show up ready to help you defeat <laughs> Mecha Streisand. <laughs> oh, that's a throwback. Oh, boy. Mecha it's, like, it's like season one South Park. Yeah, that is like season I one. I believe South it is. Park. At least That's maybe pretty two. Old. Pretty there old. was a bit of a blip there. Was there? Yeah. yeah. I have to say, I think it looks gorgeous. Yeah, the technology the behind it. The style of it, I like the clever. um the interesting almost like shading on those turrets. Oh like the the, yes. the pyramids with the solid and the striped and there's Very something clever. about it that just has a really nice retro uh, aesthetic to it. Um, and the color, too, the red and the orange and the yellow. Yep. Season 1, episode 12, RC-70. Ah, so it is season 1. Nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> Continue is, is essential in this game. <laughs> but you can kind of figure out the shooting. Well, I think there's a pattern, like, go up here, go up here, but uh, I do find it, I find, Cause, cause I find it, those towers. turrets, those towers, I'm just like, I'm just go until you die, go until you die. You, you look like you've found the pattern, though. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Like, you haven't died that much. Not to get that much. Through this level, I'm getting so. better. Yeah. So it's just a lot of, oh my god, shooting, <laughs> shooting, shooting, shoot. until they join forces. Now there's only ship shooting. Level two yes. is the easiest. Like it part, is. Part two. Level two just feels easier just because you don't have those weird diagonal shots going after you. You have the ones in the middle, but you just kind of have to figure out the pattern to dodge them. Mm. <sighs> so it's probably best to just like stay in one lane. Mm. Copyright content. Uh, match. Has that ever happened with a game? Where something's yes. so close to a song? Once. It went, really? happened once on a broadcast. It was a baseball game. Oh. And it used that song. A baseball Take me song. out to the ball game or something? It was a different one. It's, it, was, it wasn't Take Me Out. It might have been that. But it was like a, 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 a uh, song that a league, the MLB uses really? or something. Yeah. And I was like, what? Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. It didn't it didn't get me in trouble, like it's not like it, Yeah. It just silenced that part of it. Oh or, I see. But I would think? it silence the music and the talking? Oh no, what it did is Oh, it demonetized it, but I don't care. 
care oh, about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I care about the money. With this, was that on YouTube then? It was on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. I guess that's what happens. It does. I don't think we're at the end of this one. Oh, there we go. And this is cool, this part where they I line like up. Too. Good job. And now it's time for pain. Oh. oh my god. Pain time. Arena Foot. Will Zark Stars 2 be the same game going in the opposite direction? <laughs> well, Zark Maybe. Stars 3 was super different than than yeah. this. Like, it was a vertical shooter, if I remember. It's been a long time since I played it. And, pro and when when it comes out, we'll be doing a triple oh. show of Zark all Zark Stars show? Nice. Because then we'll have all three. Yeah, nice. But I don't know when that'll be. This is one, right? This is number one. Yeah. Played so number three. And now potentially a two. Oh, there'll be two. Yeah. Ah. <gasps> There's so many. Those turrets are terrible. They're deadly. So much going on. I so know. Many bullets. It's it's and it, it it's so hard to dodge the bullets coming out of those turrets. Like you don't know when they're gonna fire. What you do. They they fire immediately one after the other. Do they? Yep. Just watch. Oh, so but if if, if it hits you or something, then they shoot again really quickly. Yeah, but you're already dead at that point. So. Mm, true. I'm getting better at understanding the turret pattern. Yeah. So, but if there's only one on the screen, it shoots over and over. If there's two on the screen, they alternate. So you go top, bottom, top, bottom. So it's it's a little bit easier to dodge them now. Uh, should I just yeah, die right now before I get to the end? Yes. There we go. Perfect. Don't get any uh, time back. But that's okay. It's more about lives. Okay, now I have to go for 23 seconds. In this spot. Which, there's so many bullets. Oh, how? <laughs> how? I think I went for five I seconds. Yeah. Good night, Dude Abides. Good night, Dude Abides. Yeah. Um, so, uh... We could quickly take a look at level two. How do you set level two? Uh, a and B, yeah. It might be just faster. Not it's sure. Faster. Ah. Yeah, it does look faster. Yeah. yeah. I think the bullets and the enemies are flying faster. Yes. You may have less time to do the whole thing. I think you have to fly... Like at full speed through it, almost. Oh, this is crazy. That reminds me, I need a new beverage. Yeah, so could I, actually. <laughs> my... Mocha like chocolate stout is, is Mocha out. Mocha chocolate stout. Mm -hmm. And then what's the third level? B-A? B-A. Only station three. Guessing some of the bullets or balls rather than missiles? I've seen them change to match the play field. It would also allow for the diagonal shots to coexist with horizontal shots without flicker. Well, if you think about it, the, there is no play field in the middle. Mm. So they can be whatever color. I think the... Like, my shots are my missile. Yeah. The, the um, enemies... Yep. Game slides? Yes. Okay. Right Tari's going to take over. He's taking over. Um, the enemies that shoot forward... Theirs are missile, let's say, I'm, I'm player zero, those two flying enemies, everything else on the screen is player one. Um, the two guys moving forward, that's going to be missile one, uh, corresponding to their colors. And then the ball is going to be the, the thing shooting in the diagonals. And then there you go. There's continue on the boss final too? Is there? Damn it! I thought there wasn't. Okay, we're gonna do level one one more time. Okay. El Camara is here! Hey guys! Hey El Camara. Apparently there is continue on the boss. Is there? Yep, I didn't think there was. How do you continue? You just do it the same way. Oh, you just, you didn't it, try that? No. Oh! It just I just assumed it didn't work because it looks so different. Mmm you get the you get the boss face the boss face you just look like oh that's definitely game over right? yeah hello hi sir ah. you say hi? 
Well, at least he's here now and he doesn't have to look at my terrible playing from before. Just, <laughs> just the almost terrible playing. But I can dodge the towers a bit better now. <laughs> What's he doing? Nothing, just me. Out. Just me. He's oh. just hanging out. Are you hanging oh, cool. out? Cute cat. Yeah. See, I can dodge the bolts in the towers. Mm -hmm. Not great, but mostly okay. Almost caught one there. <laughs> ah! Ran into him. Oh! What I should do on level three is just book it all the way because mm -hmm. I want as much time at the end as possible. Just have to dodge this. Oh, little shake there. I mean, it is good you get your. Um... El Camara, is the music influenced by the band The Cure at all? In, level, <laughs> in, in the section two. I doubt it. Because it's the exact notes of the song A Forest by The Cure. <laughs> the bass line, anyway. The bass line. Not the <laughs> crazy space music. I mean, it goes off track after the first repeat of it. Yeah. But, uh, it just reminds just the you first, of it. Yeah. yeah. No, it's the exact notes. Is it? Oh. Yeah, but just the, like, four notes. The first four notes. But they're so distinct. This is so cool. It's so cool. It after looks so I good. You're getting much better at it. Yes. Um... It does take a lot. There's a there's lot a going on. There's definitely pattern. I, I guess this is the second round, which is a little easier without oh, the, yeah. um, the Way turrets, easier. But... but I'm like almost not dying. Oh, yet. I love the forest. <laughs> uh, 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 there we go. So there is uh... oh. oh. There is a connection then. I did figure it out. Mm. Okay, part two. I can almost line it up. Then. Oh. oh, right away. That's so hard. Cheap, cheap. Now this part, <laughs> I will die a lot. Doing better than I have. You just have to go like down, up, down, up for the a diagonal mm -hmm. shooting. And then you can kind of keep track of it. Mm -hmm. But it's still hard. Hard as hell. Oh, it's so nice. It looks so good. It does, like, such an excellent, excellent use of um, the sprites on the 2600 player characters. Mm -hmm. Let me say sprites. That's the, the, the sprites word didn't exist back then. Um, in terms of real estate on the screen, like, the whole screen is covered in um, player one sprites, like your player zero, and just every section of it. And the different angles of the bullets coming out and the fact that their towers just look so good and that they're smoothly scrolling towers when you don't oh, expect yeah. them to be smoothly scrolling. Very smooth. Yeah. And all the different colors like on it. the screen are yeah, great. Yeah, they're so good. Come here. What are you doing? You're up to no good, I can tell. Yeah. I've got lots of power left because I've been motoring through it really fast. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, dying, but to get infinite lives, then... But is the 23 oh, seconds no. cumulative? Or do you have to, like, survive 23 seconds on a game? Oh, my time is running out. So can I continue Select? from here? Oh, I can. Oh, but it starts again, yeah. the level, so... Well, that's okay. At least, at least you can... Yeah, you only get the lives you have. So you really should die 
just before you make it to the end. Yes. So that you have the three lives. Yes. Watch out, watch oh. out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're watching. <laughs> watching with intensity. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you? Uh, I'm just gonna sit on the cat every time. <laughs> oh, don't have to sit there, but I guess it's easier. Then the cat cam. Is this what all little brothers and sisters would Yep. Sit there. Okay, now hit the select button. Select. Select. <laughs> up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Ah! Yeah, too many bullets. Can do it. Ah, too many bullets. Oh, does it change color? No, I'm almost at the end. No, no, oh my god. No, you have to survive. Oh no. Okay. Reset? I think it just goes to the end. Reset, please? Yep. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're done. <laughs> this game is brutal, but fair. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. fun. Yep. Really, really great. Very good use like i've said of the player characters and the missile and the ball and scrolling mm. really clever way of scrolling the big big objects on the screen i agree i agree the diagonal bullets are the ball there's only one at a time true and the play field should be green between the ceiling and the floor the continuous lines mm. um if there was play field there but there is no play field. oh e yeah doesn't matter um because the <laughs> those bullets yeah go past those uh pyramids so they're the same color as the pyramids right yeah elf on a shelf is on the bratwurst controller, controller tonight Hinting. Hinting. <laughs> need to play 2600 soon i like that yep. rc70 yeah very nice okay on to game number three. Oh, you're very welcome well thank you for letting us yeah, uh, play the game very, play very the fun. binary and and see the video too so very, if you'd cool. like to be punished yes uh, on a brutal <laughs> space shooter yeah more like a cave shooter I a guess. cave shooter yeah that's probably a good way of describing because they it. are distinct like a space shooter you can move to top and bottom usually but when yeah. you get inside like scramble is more like a cave a shooter, cave shooter. but also space you're dodging and shooting yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Anyway, fantastic it's, game. Yes, it's beautiful. It's hard as hell. Yeah, but, but good. you get better. Yeah, you, you understand the pattern after a while. I didn't yeah. think I was going to, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so he also made Zero Page Homebrew the game, that was obviously postponed from Saturday. Yes. Um, yes. Because we were dealing with Pixel. Sadly. Sadly. Yes. Yeah. Um, and Pixel is kind of the star of that game. Yeah. So it, it was. Uh, difficult but we're going to replan uh zero page homebrew the game hopefully before the end of the year yeah it might be a bit tight would it uh, be possible in january maybe like just after oh, after yeah, the new year or we something can, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it doesn't matter too much it's whenever i can Get uh, coordinate you and darcy yeah um so that the time off and is right and it's it, probably it going to be a saturday again like that yeah, because it's easier so. that way yeah space cave yeah um so the next game Oh, thank you, M.K. Smith. Yeah. We miss him, too. Yes. Uh, is Alien Exterminator. Now, this is this person's only 2600 okay. game. Okay. Um, I like stuff like that. It was posted on itch.io, which is like a game posting site that mm -hmm. you can download games from. Mm -hmm. um, it's posted on November 29th. The only thing it says is Alien Exterminator, real Atari 2600 run and gun prototype. I did not test on Atari 2600. Install instructions. You need an Atari 2600 emulator to run the game. Um, actually, they're working on another game. Um, I can't, so I couldn't find much information about the developer, but they have a YouTube channel with three videos on it. There is an, there's one called, there's this one. There's an NES homebrew called Mega Commando, which I also could not find anywhere else except for their YouTube channel. Mm. Couldn't even download it anywhere. 
and another 2600 homebrew game called Road Warrior, uh, whose binary hasn't been released on itch.io either. Mm -hmm. um, so let's give it a go. Um, unfortunately, you have to turn off and on the game. Okay, to restart? To restart. Oh, no. Okay. So there is no reset. Okay. Um, oh. So there you go. Good kitty. Hi, good Hi kitty. sweet cat. Yeah. So let me load up cart number three. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're on it already. Okay. Rage power cycle. Yeah. R yeah. <laughs> Do you want Alien me to play it first so I can show sure, you? Sure, if it's complicated. It co is. He does want camera time. Yeah. yeah. He's he's happy, yeah. Hi, are you happy? Yeah, you're excited yeah. we're playing video games. Yeah, he's like, finally, yeah. treat time. <laughs> treat again. time. Okay. Joe. Oh God, and it's on Harmony even worse. <laughs> uh, um, so, what was I going to say? This is by mm -hmm. Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Joe 6502. It's nothing to read. Okay. Um, you can always give it to me to read if you want. Uh, okay. So, it said alien and then E mm -hmm. for exterminator. And it says fire. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty. It's actually a pretty cool game. So, you get helicoptered in. Oh, cute. You shoot. You have to jump over bullets. Oh, good jump in range. Um, you have to kind of jump that way over those bullets. I mean, he's got like what is it—the Rambo headband on. He does. That's or true. a hair, or or a ponytail. Yeah. Man could bun. Be either. Man bun. Could be. Uh, it has. I look, but uh, there's something about the hair that just gives me like an alien, like <laughs> predator uh, '80s uh, sci-fi action movie feel to oh, it. Oh God. Oh, I love that. Whoop. Get it. another guy jumps off a in. helicopter really nice that's really, really would that cool. be predator i don't know what would be the uh oh then you get uh, uh power up power ups you get a laser oh that's brilliant so you can shoot that um thing on the ground that rises up yeah that yeah turret in one shot instead of two <gasps> more? this is just an extra one it doesn't give you any more oh so there's in just case one, you die just one power up. yeah just one power up i had to figure all this out by myself <laughs> It's cool. There is an end to this game. Is there? Yeah. It's oh, just one cool. level. Uh, is this button to jump with auto fire or are you pressing up to jump? I'm pressing up to jump <sighs> and I'm holding down the button. There you can do Exterminator. Yes, I agree. It should say exterminator. Yeah. Similar to Pitfall Harry. Yeah, very uh, similar look to him. Yeah. Looks fun. It Carl is G. actually really. Oh my God. You have uh, to turn around for those guys. That's awesome. Oh, oh, damn it. I only made it to the end of this game cheating on Stella. Cheating, yeah. Uh, You have to turn it off and back on again. The whole thing? Yeah. Not reset. No, none of it works. I'll show you. Oh. Nothing, nothing. Difficulties <laughs> do nothing. Flip, 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 flip. Nothing. <laughs> I mean, with a PC emulator, you just reload it again, but... And it's not true, too, too true, bad. True, true, true. It's not too bad to load yeah. it again. It's pretty fast. Negative couch compliance. Yes. Is there an F? Is it's there an F, a couch F compliance rating. F rating? <laughs> it's F rating across the board for that. But the game's good, so that kind of gives it a bit, bit, bit of pluses. But for couch compliance, <laughs> there is it's negative couch compliant. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever seen another game where you have to turn it off and back on again. <laughs> It's your punishment for oh, losing. God. That's what happens. <laughs> My timing is terrible. Not couch or switch compliance. Now, if you miss that guy that's in the air, he will come down and kill you. <gasps> oh, really? You There is a way to do it. You have to go run to the right, left-hand side, and then when he comes down, run to the right. Oh, you can't be too... You too... can jump over that guy that comes from behind and then shoot him. Oh, you have to do it twice. twice. I didn't jump fast enough. Oh my goodness. Game over. Okay, it's your turn oh, again. Thank you, <laughs> so you can you can uh... My turn? Yeah. <laughs> this definitely is better probably in emulation. Well, just if you have to restart re I mean, it's restart only all the time. Five seconds to do that. Well, so. I guess that's true. That's true. I don't know if I'll make it to the end because it gets pretty hard. It's pretty cool. I, I like the look of it. I like the sim it's simple. Yeah, and you're crossing like a bridge on water. Oh, yeah, it has the look a, um, is really good. What is what is that game? Um, 
Nintendo game famous? Uh, yeah. Commando? Uh, uh, no, not no, Commando. No, no, no. What am I, I thinking of? Name is escaping. Cobra? Me. No. No. Uh, somebody will say it. Contra. 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 I'm like, it starts with a C. Very Contra. It, it has it has like a 2600 Contra feel going. Can we upgrade. Upgrade it. Pretty much you have to... Uh, that's Ooh, how you have you to You gotta dodge, dodge him. You have to go left. Because when you're at the front, left. there is no um, no room to move forward. Mm. And he follows you. You should be jumping up for those. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Contra, thank you. Contra. Yes, very, very, very contra. Mm -hmm. Just just lots of shooting and things shooting at you. And left to right scrolling in water. There's always water. <laughs> Always the water. Yeah. I need to get those three that come after me, though. I Try think. the Konami code for 30 lives. <laughs> <laughs> that would be helpful. Uh, that would be helpful. Yeah, that would be good. No uh, rage uh, restarts. No uh, rage restarts. Yeah. Oh, they're triple, so if you shoot one, they all die. Or not. Oh, nope. Nope. That's only my first life. No, no. Yeah. Why did... oh, oh, that's so my hard. Oh, God. I'm going to die. Oh, now I don't have a good... Victory! <gasps> oh, I was so close! Yay! Victory! And I was up in the air when I did victory. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah! Freeze frame like an 80s show! <laughs> High five! Kay. Is that the end? Yep. Oh! oh I'm not going to get that far. You can do it! <laughs> you saw me do it. You know all the tactics now. Good game! Thank you, Nostalgic. So I, mm. I think that game is really cool. It's really cool. It needs a level two. It needs a couple of levels, I yep. think. Yeah. It's a couple more like challenges, difficulty, or a change of scenery, um, but I think it's it's a finished game. Oh, oh, I'm just too gotta, slow. He does stay up in the air a while, so you don't have to worry about it too too badly. Yeah, he does. He has a pretty high jump. And you don't have to worry about running forward. It's it's. You can stop. Yeah, you can. It stop. actually makes it a lot easier if you. Because you just have to defeat. How many times X you have to hit that thing? Twice. You just I have to more... defeat X enemies. Oh, a lot. Four, four, not twice. Never mind. Guys. I just hold down the buttons. Yeah. That's probably why I thought it was twice. It'd be funny if an alien walked by and looked at you awkwardly while you're frozen in the air. <laughs> that would be very funny. Oh, oh too slow. bad timing. Yep. Okay. One more? Sure. Uh, Just to make you get up. Groan. Uh, uh, negative couch <laughs> compliance. Not only does he not get the stamp of couch compliance on this game, he uh, won't get it on the next game even if it is couch compliance. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Thank you for the link. Arena foot. Old man grown complaint. Uh, yes. <laughs> Compliance. Compliance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It should be. Your couch has to have an old man groaning on it. <laughs> ah! Got to go back. I know. I know. I haven't if you figured miss that it. out. But you have to do it quick. Yeah, you do. Oh, my gosh. My timing. Then I'm jump just... over bullets. No, I'm just slow. <laughs> I'm just slow. I'm trying to time it, but I'm waiting too long. Scarred CC for the next game, too. <laughs> uh, okay. You're done that one? I think okay. so. It's it's pretty cool, though. Yeah. I like it. I like the look of it. Yeah, Contra. Very Contra-esque. Like Very. A 2600 Contra game. But I thought it was a great start. Yeah. And it has enough cool things in it that I wanted to feature it on the show. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the guy will ever see it. Maybe I should leave a, it was a 2020 game. message on his uh, YouTube channel cause, yeah. or something. Or yeah, make yeah. a comment. In, I should get an itch.io login so I can comment there. Yeah. Um, so this last one is called Discarded Hero. Okay. And it's a two-player game. <gasps> That's why I left it to last. Yay! Um, it's by Newly, who did Dog Walk, if you remember that one. Uh, where you're walking yes. your dog, and the dog... Uh, doesn't have a leash, but he kind of trails behind you. 
you have to manipulate the movement and position of the dog based on where you are. Okay. And there's things coming down from the yes, sky. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember It's a couple that. years ago, and I think it got uh, nominated for uh, the Atari Homebrew Awards okay. in that yeah. year. Yeah. It was very, very innovative. It was. So innovative. Mm -hmm. um, so I, it's made by Newly. Uh, December 3rd, it was posted. 4K game. Uh, uh, the post said, I made a 4 game game called Discarded Hero. I had an idea for a game like this about 14 years ago. Mm. I worked in a big company and we used shredders quite often. Mm. Back then, I didn't have an idea of how to execute it. About a year ago, I was thinking, what game should I make next? I remember this very old idea and I brought it to life. Mm. It wasn't easy, though. I made a working prototype in a week or so, but only now, more than a year later, I finally found enough time and energy to finish it. Uh, the story, you are president's aide and Mr. President's term is suddenly coming to an end. Uh, you are a couple of crazed, corrupted magistrates and you've been redirecting, redirecting public money. Yeah, redirecting it straight to your wallets. Wow. The opposition called in an audit to investigate your suspicious contracts. Your goal is to shred all the sensitive documents before the auditors <laughs> show up. The blue guy is called Vratislav, and pink lady is Jirina. Mm. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. <laughs> and I really like the control scheme for this game. So can okay. you load it up? Sure. Because it reminds me of the game we like to play in the arcade called Timber. Oh. And you'll see... Discarded here. ...why... Yeah. So it's set to player one right now. That's a shredder in a hand. Mm. Getting VH it. said C vibes. Definitely. Yeah. But his letters are always outlined. So no, but it. But the even look. This, yeah. Even the sound in the background too. That's a low. Okay. Yeah. Nice percussive nice, sounds. Nice percussive beat going. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, if you press uh, the button. Oh, actually, I should tell you to play. That would okay. be nice. Oh, it's really dark on this with the lights. Okay, you have to hold down the button. Can you see that little gray yeah. thing? Hold down the button while it's in there. And then move left to right to keep it in. There. Hold down the button while it's in there. Hold it down. Yeah. But, but that's not helping me. What, well, what am I holding? That's outside the gray box. I don't understand. Okay. Can you see the gray box? The, okay. The gray box in the middle? Yeah. Okay. Nope. So try and press it towards the center. Okay. No, you can't see the gray box. No, I can see it. And then there. move left or right to keep it in. The oh, gray box. left or right. Yeah. See, you're not telling me to move it. <laughs> well, For God's sake. You weren't even holding down the button at first. No, I was. I was holding it down and then immediately dying because it, it happens okay. so fast. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, in the menu, you can choose if you want one or two player games. You can also choose game difficulty for each player here. Oh, can you? If you're playing the game in the beginner mode, documents get shredded faster, which saves you precious time. You start the game with the fire button. There's a get ready screen displaying an exclamation mark during mm -hmm. which you can pause the game with the black and white color. Uh, I think it's all the lights. I can barely see the gray in my I, I can see it just fine, so uh, I don't okay. know. Uh, wait until the dot is in the gray area, then you push and hold your fire button. You must keep the gray dot in the gray area, the dot in the gray area with the joystick left to right. After you succeeded shredding a document, you can finally release the fire button and another document is ready for shredding. There's a time limit for each level, light gray line. Uh, and a number of documents which are needed to be discarded before the time is up. Hmm. Yellow line. The difficulty is steadily rising until it's almost impossible to finish a level on advanced difficulty. Two-player mode is a cooperative game. Both magistrates are working together to shred documents before the time is up. So it's a co-op mode. Uh, credits. I programmed it in BB. Uh, also created music and sounds. Phobe made the GFX graphics. Uh, hopefully it will make the fun. It will make fun for most of you. Enjoy. So you don't really get punished for not doing it right. You just have a time limit. Yeah, that makes so sense. So if you do it wrong, it's not a big deal. Other than, you know, wasting time. Mm -hmm. And it's more about getting it before the time is up. Looks like he is like... Looks like he's sitting on the floor and he's got the shredder in his lap, but it, I think he's standing up in front of a shredder. And that bottom bar 
is just like a, a standing shredder. And he's putting the paper in. It's really mm. interesting graphics. A paper shredding video game. <laughs> yeah. It's funny when they make when people make games about doing In inane things. Real world things that yeah. you don't like to do. Yeah. Like there was a a, a snow shoveling game one oh, time. Oh yeah. Like inane everyday things. Yeah. I find that very funny. So the actual gray bar is now smaller. Oh. So it's so it's gonna be harder. So can you see the similarities between that log rolling level in timber in this. Yep, yep, yep. Because in You're, you have to respond to the movement of that dot. Yep. Yeah. Because in timber, there's a log rolling section where you're standing on the log, it's in the water, and it's rolling. And if it's rolling one way, you have to move the joystick the opposite mm -hmm. because oh. you're trying to tread backwards. And then the log changes directions, and you have to press the opposite way. It's so crazy fun. <laughs> so this is almost exactly the same principle of keeping your guy on the log or keeping the dot mm -hmm. in between out of the water. Yeah, it's exactly the same. That's Kev Kelly's genre for sure. <laughs> yes. Kev Kelly makes games about doing work jobs. <laughs> he made a lineman. Oh. Well, one of his newest games is like keeping oh. swans away from kids at a lake so it's not not really a work one <laughs> okay but that's fine but he did he did one about a lineman which hasn't been released at all yet no and it looked pretty good but he's made it pretty far but i don't think it's like playable like you can't do anything really yet games like this are very meditative yes uh, and then he did a yeah um a box moving game remember that one i can't remember the name of it with oh, move crates around. Yes, that one was good. Multi-screen crate. I thought that was great. Wasn't it like company? Amazon delivery uh, something center, whatever they call that? Yeah, except it wasn't Amazon. No, but yeah. it was Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Try playing this on a joy board. Oh Ooh. my god. Is that what the the bouncing board? Yeah, left right bouncing board. Does it have a trigger? Oh, the gray bar is bigger now. It is bigger. Hmm. The, the time's it's probably moving. faster. It's now. moving faster. I feel. Maybe. Oh, yeah. the dot can move faster too. Yeah. Oh, so it's probably going back and forth. Cross dock, that's the one. Cross yep. dock, yeah. Mike Soul, what would they think of next? Mm -hmm. Does the shredder have an overheating mechanic? <laughs> yes. Mine does. Ours Mine's does. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah, if you're shredding tons of documents, it's going to have a problem. Yeah. But this one's an industrial expensive one because it's uh, well, at an office. And... Uh, we, we have a. Sh we shred stuff at, at work at yeah. work and uh Is there's a, there's a big truck that comes and they, they oh, load it up and they yes. shred it in a gigantic truck That's which true. i just find fascinating there should be paper jams yeah. probably when you go outside of the line that's a paper jam yeah because how hard is shredding yeah. right that's probably the paper jam where you have to pull it out and fix it and you get penalized with time yeah it's definitely going faster and moving faster when you're holding it down too right mm -hmm. There should be paper jabs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you want me to stop and us play the two no. person? No. When you when you're when it's game over. Okay. I want you to see how far you can get. Yeah. Did you have you played this before? Yeah, oh. I did. So I don't need to play single player. How long did you play for? Not I, I feel Not like very long. <laughs> I feel like you can play for a long time. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't feel to... too hard to me yet. There's an advanced version it says, but it doesn't say how to set it to advanced. Mm. It like. says you can also choose game difficulty for each player. Hmm. But I didn't see that on the top screen. I mean, you're missing some now, so... Character animation is really nice. Just a couple frames, but it's really expressive. Yeah, so that's him standing, and he's shredding the paper. So it's like three frames, which is enough. And then a little thumbs up. The thumbs up is very VHC. That's outline. Yeah. That's the one. It's a little. It's and a little. Great font at the bottom. Thumbs up too. <laughs> I think that's the same font he he used um, for the dog walk, or at least similar font. Oh Maybe yeah. Maybe a bit refined. Maybe left if left difficulty switches control difficulty should. Possible. I'll try it when the game is over. You're not even close. You didn't even lose half your time. That's what I mean. Like, do you want to try the the double? Because we could. I mean, I can I can fail out if you want. 
Because uh, it's just time. It's just a matter of time. We'll, we'll but I think I can play it for a while. Oh, there's no reset. <gasps> not couch compliant. Well, that doesn't well, count for couch compliant. That's true. You can just, I'll just let it run out. Let okay. it run out. See what happens. What what comes up on the screen when you fail. Yeah. Do the police drag you off? Wee, wee, wee. Yeah. Police drag you off I the mean, screen? that's the premise of the game. <laughs> it's true. Somebody's <laughs> coming to take away. you away in handcuffs. Yeah. And, all the paper yeah. proof. All the paper. Yeah, it should be a little car driving across the screen with a little siren. Mm. Picks you up. Not rage compliant. That's mm. true. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have a new symbol. Not rage reset compliant. But I don't want it rage reset compliant. Mm. More like fail out. But that doesn't do anything because the time just keeps speed counting it down. Oh. Oh. Goes blue. blue. He puts his hand on his head. Goes, oh no, I'm caught. <laughs> I tried this many days ago and it took me a while to understand how to play it. I didn't read the docs. I quit about the same score when I could manage it. Mm. Okay, so let's see. No. No. One, two. Nothing. Nothing. Is that a joystick? <laughs> no, not the button. What? Uh. Not the button. Button starts. Oh, sorry. Trying to get uh, when you difficulty. Said the ju yeah, sorry. <laughs> no? How do you pick two player? Maybe it could only work on two player. No? Player? Player? Uh, two? Player one? Player two. two. That's all it does. Okay. Um, maybe it's A and B and it just doesn't show you on the screen. Mm, it's possible. Okay. Well, we'll leave it on A to see if it's harder. Okay. Actually, it was we'll on B before? One, we'll do one player and put it on A. No, put it on one and two. Just for a fit. Put one on A and one on B and see if they're different. different. Mm. Nope, press button. I want to see if it's faster. On A. That seems faster. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. To, to turn it, it off. Is. So we're going to both play an A for the two-player. Because I think that'll be a better challenge. Yeah. I think you have to adjust it to two-player. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Two-player. Oh, it's a cold controller. So we're cooperative shredder. Oh, damn it. So if you get it, it goes down. If I get it, it goes down. Fair enough. And we're on both on A. So this should be harder. It, this is a very, very unusual game. <laughs> it is. Uh, very, I, 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 very uh, unusual. His and hers shredding, like a cooperative I, shredding. Cooperative game. shredding. Paper shredding game. <laughs> I, I, I've heard it all. Uh, yep. <laughs> Nice, two thumbs up. A little bit of a, a screen flip there mm. um, when it goes to that. And there. Ugh. The little dot is now crazy inside that uh, gray bar. It's moving around a lot. Oh, all right. Let, I put, took my finger off. Thought it was done. Not till the thumbs up. I think you have to do it longer. On a hold it in longer. Maybe. Oh gosh. Yeah, male and longer. female. Yeah. I'm the secretary or whatever they call. Secretary. Admin assistant. Admin assistant. <laughs> ah. What did they say? Oh no, it's just. Uh... different people doesn't say who's who or what the position no. are well they had names yeah they just had names but yeah. not uh titles no. thank you arena foot for uh posting the link for this game this is downloadable uh if you want to play it it's from the atari age forums we're not even close to the time of of being in trouble oops Oh, it's getting harder. 
I, I, it's more distracting to have two on the screen because sometimes I, out of the really? corner of my eye, I see yours, and so I'm not paying quite as much attention as when I'm doing it myself. Mm. Yep. Oh. Now the bar is a little smaller. So you really want to try and press the button in the middle of the gray bar so that you have more leeway, at least at first, so you don't have to react as much. Mm -hmm. But it almost swings about half of the gray bar. I'd say about three eighths it can swing in, in a movement. Thank you for following Ultra Gamer TR. <laughs> Glad you like us. Shred the paper. Paper shredding game. <laughs> I mean, if you look at like so modern. Funny simple games on the pc it's true it's there's true there's games like this you like you're cooking things yes or, yeah like, it's like average everyday things yeah i mean i hope there's people games aren't about shredding everything much, but yeah so this is like right in line with like even modern simple games it's getting a little bit harder Chris oh, Albright, thank you thank you for Chris subscribing. Albright. you are a new subscriber yes thank you your name will be read out next episode, next stream. I need at to, the top of the show. I need to resubscribe yes, to you. Do. <laughs> very bad. Very bad. Yeah. Okay, now it's moving a lot faster. It it really feels like you're fighting it. Like when it's moving, like it has a mind of its own. It's like you're trying to. It is, it's, it's getting challenging. It's getting right to the edges now. Co-op shredding is a typical Tuesday on Wall Street. <laughs> That's right. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, we're running out of time now. Oh my God. almost out come on oh we're almost out of time oh no oh no, no. Oh. oh that was good we got caught got caught shredding <laughs> uh really fun game like a really fun simple game yeah. that you can just pick up and play yeah it's not much to it very easy no. to understand no um, so yeah, grab that in the Atari forums, uh, by Newly, uh, discarded, discarded hero, <laughs> kind of a strange name. I don't, it is a, I'm not a sure name. how the name, uh, relates to it. I feel like there's a translation there somewhere Maybe. that gets kind of lost in translation, but yeah. uh, I like it. I like it. It's different. Like, I like you would have said like that he would call it shredding something. Shred it, shred, shredding hero or shredding something? Shredding hero. Shredding or, hero. Like, because shredding is such a great word. Shredding? Shredding. Because yeah. it, it was used Shredder, for like... Shredder, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, exactly. you know? Exactly. Yeah. Or <laughs> it's used in, it's a skateboarding term yes, as well, shredding. shredding. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Or is it skiing or is it snowboarding? Shredding? Yes. I think that's also um, shredding waves. I think it's a, a surfing term. Surfing term. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, office workers always just discarded, even though they're the glue that keeps everything mm -hmm. together. See, they should have Agreed. You know, got some help yeah. in this. And they yeah. wouldn't have to fail all the time if they put mm. some more people on. Yeah. Some office workers. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, super fun. Uh, it's great. And Hero Shredder. <laughs> See, there you go. That's a good name. Um, so, good games. How you doing over there? He's making sneezing. Noises. He's sneezing over there. Yeah. Uh, so we played today Tomahawk mm -hmm. 777. Oh, nice. Uh, super great port of an obscure arcade game. It's mm -hmm. going to be in the Atari forums in a couple days. Cool. Uh, Zark Stars, Very which cool. is available. If if you want punishment, it's available for you. <laughs> uh, Zarkstars.com. 
You can uh, purchase it. No downloads. Not even a demo. It's very cool. It, it's very, very cool. It's very cool. Um, I like it a lot. Very hard. So if you want a challenge and you're up for it, yeah. that's the game to get. Yeah. You like shooters. Alien E. Alien. What's it called? Exterminator. Uh, Alien Exterminator. Um, really great premise. Too short. I wish it was longer and had more to it. But what it had is... Uh, really cool and varied and challenging. Shooting things left, right, up. You have to jump and mm -hmm. jump over things and shoot things multiple times. And you got to power up. Mm -hmm. I just wanted more. More levels. More things to yeah, shoot. Yeah, it's great. Like I said, it's like a little 2600 Contra game. Yep. It's very cool. And then Discarded Hero. Such a clever type of game. Like yeah. shredding things. Craziness. Wide variety of games yes. today. Yeah. Yeah. Lots um, of good games. Today. And they're all brand new games. They're yeah, all from awesome. this year. Yeah. Um, so what's coming up on the show soon? Because mm. uh, there is a lot coming up. Let's just take a look at what it is. Um, so next show, Ninjoso on Friday, we have an exclusive world premiere of that game. Very cool. Uh, I think it's a two-player ninja game. Oh, cool. Where you fight each other okay. over the computer. Nice. Uh, Armaja and Tiro Tango, all made by the same person. Yep. Uh, and a game called Kitten Catch, which is uh, a very, very simple game, but cute. Uh, so that's Friday at 6. Okay. Maybe we'll change it to 12. I know Darcy's around. Yeah, I was going to say, is, is Darcy coming in? So I might bring him in. If, yeah, he, if he's around to... If you don't mind. If he's not, oh, no, that's fine. Yeah. It depends uh, as well, if, I guess, if he's working, so... Right. Yeah, but... Uh, I yeah. think he doesn't work in the morning because he won't be around for the 24th, so... Yeah, yeah that makes we'll sense. do the 24th, yeah. Um, and then we have... Ooh, actually, we might... Uh, maybe on the Friday you can play much later and do an After Dark much later with, with yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I wanted to play Ricky and Vicky now that I've upgraded my 7800. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. And we have better controllers. Yes. So it's going to be a much better experience. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Ricky and Vicky for an after dark, probably on Friday later, fun. not right after the show yeah. at noon. Um, and on the 21st, I have it wide open. So there is a bunch of games that have been released that I want to catch up on. Cool. Um, so I'm going to go through all the latest releases. Might be even a mix of 2,600 and 7,800 games. Don't know. Then holiday. Yay! Then holiday over special. I do 24th. need to start looking for maybe some 8-bit games that okay. are holiday themed because I've pretty much run out of 7,800 and 2,600 games. And I know I can find some holiday uh, themed games with snow in them. Christmas or themed. Christmas or Santa, yeah. something like that. Or yeah, cool. Reindeer stuff. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure there's some in there. Um, Skiing. So that yeah. one will be during the day as mm. well. So two okay. Fridays will be early shows. And the Tuesday next week will be the same time system. Vectrex. <laughs> no, I'm not ready for the Vectrex. I still need to mod my Vectrex. Yeah. But are for... there any Vectrex Christmas home? Covers? Oh, I'm sure there is. You think is. so? Yeah. A skiing game in there somewhere? Whether I have them on cartridge, I don't think so. Mm. I'd have to put them on the multi-cart, mm. but I can do that. <laughs> and most Vectrex, a lot of Vectrex games you can download. A lot of people oh, release really? them for free. Oh, that's cool. Not as much as 2600. 2600 is like the free for all. Yeah. Same with 8 bit games. Most of them are like, hey, here you go. Here, have it. Download play it. it. Yeah. Yes, there are. Arena Foot would know. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he's making yeah. a book. Vectrex. Oh, for the Vectrix. Yes. Which is cool. great. Oh, that's very that's cool. Really great. Yeah. Um, and I think it's going to print soon ish. Mm. Or is that the Vectrix list? Mm. Um, I think it's the Vectrix list. Because um, uh, he does review books for 2600, but I'm not sure if he's doing review books for Vectrex games. Mm. But he can type it there. Um, then also, I have a lot to do for the uh, Atari Homebrew Awards. Mm. I have to make sure everything is ready by December 31st to go to the nomination committee to narrow it down to six per category. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vectrex checklist, che checklist book. Gotcha. Yes, there we go. Nice. Um, so I'm sure. That'll be easy to, good to reference. So I'll have to get that from you, Arena Foot. <laughs> maybe next year when we do Vectrex. Yeah, I don't know. maybe, maybe, maybe. 
But uh, 2600 check look, checklist book very soon waiting cover now. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so in late January, we're going to do the nominee reveal on the 25th of all the nominated games. 25th of January. Okay. And start playing through them. Nice. Day that by day. That's fun. Probably one of my most favorite times of the year because <laughs> you get to play these the best. awesome games again, right? Yeah. Like the games we play throughout the year. So, yeah. Oh, and in a television yeah. check checklist book as well. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, the awards presentation on February 12th. Mm -hmm. That'll be a lot of fun, giving out awards to all the great programmers and mm -hmm. artists out there. Nice. And musicians as well, because we do music. Yes. Yeah, music. And graphics. There's some great and music packaging in those games, too. And developing, so yep. across everything. Very nice. Um, and somewhere in there, we're going to be doing uh, ZPH the game release yep. and cart giveaway. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, Zark Stars 2 at some point. Um, and also an unannounced world premiere of an awesome, super fun game for the <laughs> 7800. Um, they said it would be before the end of the year. Don't know. Uh, they've made great progression in seeing videos and graphics and stuff. Uh, we'll see that if that's done before the end of the year. If not, just put it to the next next year. But that's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait for that one. I can't tell you what it is, but I will be able to tell you what it is. Very secretive. Yes. It's not going to be a secret reveal. It'll yeah. be it'll be known what it is beforehand. Gotcha. Lots of people will be watching that one, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, lots of shows to fill in right here between now and the uh, nominee reveal. Mm -hmm. um, so, oh, yeah. Like yeah. eight shows there. So lots to lots of room to lots catch up on. Lots of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Good. Most of it, I think I'm going to pack into the 21st, try and catch up on some stuff. Excellent. Yeah. Um, Good. I think that's Yay. it for today. That's exciting. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. Atari, you want to say, come say goodbye? Come here. Come here, Atari cat. Oh, thank you, El Camara, as well, for letting us play your game tonight and showing off the trailer. Oh, he's running. No, 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 don't run away. <laughs> Is he going to squeak? Oh, oh he's squeaking. squeaky cat. Sorry, buddy. Well, you have I to come say goodbye. Give you, give you a cuddle. Hi. Hi, Smiley. Yeah, he's a smiley cat. So, uh, good night and thank you to Nostalgic yes. Round Trooper El Camara. Thank you once again for uh, your fun game. Uh, oh, Ground Trooper, 37 months. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Put my mouse over his, yeah. his name there. Vitoko oh. 8-Bits, uh, Dan AVC, Atari 2600 Dude, Mike Soul, RC7E, Chris Albright, uh, Carl G, uh, MK Smith, who else? Dude Abides? Dude Abides, four. Uh, Ricardo Pym, Ground Trooper, Metal Lunar 7. Yeah. Rendered Ghost. Rendered Ghost, yep. Yeah. Miss Command. Oh, yep, yeah. Miss Command in there. Raymond C. Raymond C. And we've reached the top. Yay! See if anybody else snuck in there and said goodbye. Mike Soul. Mike Soul. I think I said your name. Um, so we'll be back Friday. I'm going to talk to Darcy, see if it'll be a mm -hmm. noon show. Because mm -hmm. I think that'll be good so we can get one in before mm -hmm. um, the end of the, uh, before Christmas. Um, and then we'll do an After Dark on uh, the Friday mm -hmm. as well, most likely. Yeah. Yep. So say goodbye. Say goodbye, Atari. Say goodbye, Atari. Bye bye. And we'll see everybody on uh, Friday. So we'll see you then. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye, Rendered Ghost. Bye bye. bye.